In this video, we're going to take a look at what Denon needs to do to actually get someone to change your rider in 2017. Holy grail. So Denon just came out with a new teaser for 2017 and uh, my assumption is that they're coming out with a new controller. Their Denon SC39 is a little long in the tooth and so it's time to update it. So I thought what I would do considering that their slogan is change your rider 2017 I thought what we would do is take a look at uh, their current controller and see where they might make some improvements and give some thoughts to what they, they have to do in the future if they actually want that to take place. So in the picture that we're looking at, we're actually looking at, uh, this is the Pioneer CDJ2000 uh, Nexus. This isn't the Mark II, which is slightly different versus Denon's uh, SC3900. Um, I've owned both of these for the record. Um, I initially got the Denon SC3900 first, mostly because I was interested in the, the platter. And then, I don't know, had it for two or three months. And while I liked it, there were some things about it that sort of drove me crazy and so I decided to spend the extra money which is actually quite significant and then upgrade to the Pioneer CDJ2000 as well as upgrading the the mixer to the D, uh, DJM900 uh, Nexus and I have to say that that was a potent combination outside of just this controller which actually was pretty the, was pretty nice the one thing that sort of, well, two things that sort of drove me crazy. One is Denon has the engine, the Denon engine, which is the software that you use in order to prepare your tracks. Um, that software was unbelievably painful to, to use. Um, and so when I switched over to Pioneer and started using Rekordbox and, the, and that whole system, it was so much easier, so much faster, worked so much better. And, and time is definitely a component when you're a DJ. You're constantly looking for new music. Um, and then when you do find that music, you know, you have to set it up and find the key and do all the key, uh, cue points and then export it onto the a flash drive and all of that. So when the software doesn't work very well or it's very slow or it's very cumbersome, right it's um uh it it slows down your whole workflow so while the hardware itself for the sc3900 was really really nice um the software was the thing that really kind of killed me so let's take a look at considering that m most companies don't restart everything from scratch like chances are they're not going to take their current hardware and rebuild this from scratch. Um, let's take a look at what they might be willing to do in order to actually get you to change your your rider. So one of the things that I liked the most about this system is the the well this would be the jog wheel. Um, obviously this feels like a turntable or pretty close to using a turntable. Um, this was singularly the best thing about this controller. Uh, I mean, yes, can you scratch on a Pioneer? I've seen it done. Does it work as, um, 
Uh, is it as efficient? Does it feel as nice? Uh, absolutely not. So hopefully the one thing that I liked about the SC 3900, one of the primary reasons to, to get it was this uh, was their this interface here. Um, you'll notice in comparison to the Pioneer it was kind of small so hopefully that's a, it's a little bit larger. One thing that was also kind of painful Oh, sorry. This right here, their screen, uh, very painful. Very, very painful. Um, this is the waveform. And if you're trying to figure out, okay, I want to go, you have cue points set up and you're like, okay, I want to go to the drop. Uh, it's really hard to, to see. This isn't touch screen. It's kind of very much old school. It's small. Um, so ideally, one of the things that they do is they um, get rid of well, not get rid of, but make this screen large. Make it nice seven or eight inches. Make sure that it's touch screen. Um, that you can actually, uh, it's usable. Um, this was okay, but I'm telling you, when you go from the, uh, when you go from the SE 3900 up to the CDJ 2000, and you see how colorful it is, even when, um, I don't think that was a touch screen. Uh, it just makes DJing so, so much easier. So ideally, one of the things that they can do is make this larger. They, you know, these days, I don't think you need a CDJ component. I don't know anybody that uses CDJs. So get rid of that. Um, I did like the link system, um, it, which is again sort of similar to what Pioneer does, um, but make that a little bit better. You can make this a MIDI controller. All of that stuff was fine. Uh, if there were some way to make this eight cue points as opposed to uh, four, that would be cool. Um, on controllers you have things like you can set up different buttons for doing um, rolls and loops and slicing so maybe add some buttons here or up top to be able to do that piece um, the Denon SE 3700 actually had onboard effects which was actually pretty cool, so that would also be something that they could um, they could add on. Um, this section actually worked uh, pretty good in order to you know find your songs and, and what have you. So an update on that, you know, if, if they do that, that's fine. Um, the overall feel of this controller was really really nice so I didn't wouldn't necessarily say that they have to change uh, that component um, I'm not sure that they would actually change these buttons they were again in comparison uh, the pioneer definitely feels better um one other thing that was that works really well on this was the the fader here had a long throw so that this actually feels pretty good being able to set the different pitch ranges um, that was pretty pretty decent although chances are you could do that up in the touch screen um, and then what's the other big 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 thing that they can do to be super helpful um, to get into a pioneer system is so I mean is a six grand or so you know if you could have the same capabilities as the pioneer 
and but keep the price about half with all the other stuff that I've already mentioned and you're keeping the this, this turntable sort of jog wheel um, that would be really 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 impressive now we've talked about this controller and some things that they can do to update it but there's some other things to factor in outside of just the controller itself you actually have what's what I call the DJ ecosystem right it's not just the CDJ or the, the controller you know uh, Pioneer also has a phenomenal mixer that links and works well with the CDJ which also works incredibly well with Rekordbox and while you know when I liked the Denon SC39 the hardware itself I hated the software the software was the big stumbling block for me their mixer which I had was the Denon X1600 I believe was really nice and worked well but you actually need to make sure that you have an ecosystem that's not just the CDJ but also works well with the mixer and the software so my question is okay so you're coming out with a new CDJ that's my assumption what are you doing about the mixer and what are you doing about the software which to me was the weak link um, if you're only coming out with a new controller but the software stays the same and you really haven't upgraded the mixer then are you really in a position to say change your rider and so I'm I will be really interested to find out um, if Denon actually comes out with some additional components which actually is the entire DJ ecosystem to make this their system better um, now keep in mind I I've owned the the Denon um, the mixer the SC3900 and I've used engine and for the money I actually thought it was a pretty decent system the hardware was great but um, if they only are coming out with a new controller or no CDJ and um, uh, not changing anything else then they'll probably be in the same boat that they were in previously so on that note that's pretty much it this for this video hopefully you like it uh, if so please give it a thumbs up if you have your own comments I, I read and respond to all comments so I'll be looking forward to hearing what you say subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video cheers